Hey everyone, part two of positioning hooks. You asked so many good questions on the first one that I needed to do a part two to answer some of them. One of the biggest questions you asked is, when during the process are these used on the deceased? Reference the first video on my channel from a couple weeks ago to see some of the other information. But during the embalming, these may be used following the embalming, but not in the casket. So each embalmer is going to do things possibly a little different. If I was going to use these during the embalming, they may be in my way. Sometimes I don't have the arms up on the deceased during embalming because you gotta aspirate and you're cleaning and you're moving arms around to try and get distribution in the arms. So I may not position with these during the embalming, but as soon as the embalming's done, once the person is cleaned and you're getting them positioned, this is during fixation. This is when that fluid is in their body starting to go out into the tissue and the tissue is starting to fixate, stay in place, get preserved. That's when these are gonna be used. I will sometimes use a sheet instead of these and tie up the arms with a sheet so that they don't have indentations for this. But also I had some comments on the last video that some people use foam pieces under this so you don't get indentations on the arms. But you're gonna use this following embalming typically in that time between embalming and dressing the deceased. So that way the arms hopefully stay up into place where they need to be. Positioning hooks. I know they look a little brutal they're not hooking into the skin, they're just wrapping around the arms to hold them in place while the tissue fixates.